use Calyx Imaging Crystal to summon the image of Calyx. The Nexus Vault lies deep beneath the main spire. Accept Nexus Vault from the image of Calyx. The volatile energies within the Nexus seem to be interfering with the image crystal. I fear you may be on your own from here. Good luck. Travel to the Nexus Instance Portal, located at 2726. Before starting the encounter, it is helpful to be specced into Ice Flows for the level 75 talent. So, the lock on the Nexus has been broken, and by a common adventurer, no less. Huh. Will wonders never cease? If you've come to engage me in battle in hopes of obtaining some spurious trinket, I'm afraid you're too late. The Ethereum have taken the bite out of this old dragon, and I fear they have robbed me of anything you would deem useful. If it's looting you desire, as your kind so often does, then I suggest taking the fight to them. Travel north to 3681. Defeat the Wormlings. Continue on to coordinates 3674. Defeat the Scion of Fire. Use Spellsteel when it applies the Dark Empowerment buff to itself. The Scion of Ice will attack you after you kill the Scion of Fire. Interrupt Icicle Barrage. After Scion of Ice is killed, Scion of Magic will attack you. Interrupt Void Consumption. Ah, you seem quite capable, mage, with their magic Wait, gold. are you here after them? In that case, I could use a hand. I assume you come seeking the Nexus Vault. Why else would anyone return to this place? Unfortunately, access to the Vault is proving difficult. If you help me access the Librarium, I will find a way through. We must not let the Ethereum obtain the artifacts it holds. But first, I think I'll slip into a more comfortable form. These halls were never quite spacious enough for my tastes. Escort Ashkos east to 2367. The Nexus Vault is weakening. That arcane energy can only mean Alunath is no longer fully contained. Continue northeast into and through the Hall of Stasis to 2243. It is a most potent and chaotic weapon. It will lash out at us as we try to approach. Avoid the spots of unstable energy on the ground by walking around and or using Blink. The ground is blanketed by unstable energy. 
You might not want to step on that. Travel northeast to the Librarium at coordinates 2736. We're here! Now, let me see if I can find a way into the vault. As I suspected, the entrance to the vault was broken off when Malagos breached the Twisting Nether during the Nexus Wars. I feel the powers it holds resonating through the Nexus. There must be another way to reach the vault. Aha! That's... Wait a moment. The energy from the vault is surging! Brace yourself! Defeat the Echo of Alunath, located at 2739 in the center of the Librarium. Interrupt Arcane Barrage. Use Spell Steal when it applies the Quickening buff on itself. When you steal Quickening, cast Arcane Power and Time Warp to burn through its health.
That was too close. If the weapon goes unchecked much longer, it will bring this whole place down around us. Quickly, we must head to the rift. It's the only way. Travel northeast to 3122, defeating the Void Touch to Thuriels. Wait, didn't there used to be a brick? Fools! You may have destroyed the surge needles, but you are too late to stop us! The power of a lunith will rip open the breach! Oh great, more ethereals. It looks like they're channeling the energy from the vault into the breach. This is not good. Um, time to show these ethereals that I still have a bit of fight left. Hitch a ride on Azhagos to the other side of the rift. I will bring whatever power I have to bear against the Nexus Prince. But in my weakened state, it falls upon you to finish this threat. I hope you are prepared. You are too late, interlopers. Nothing can stop me now. I have become void! After being dropped off at 5721, defeat Nexus Prince Belial. The Ethereum will rise again! When you cast Force of Gravity, continue moving toward the center of the platform, otherwise you will be pushed off. Casting Ice Flows and continuing to DPS during the stage can be helpful. Interrupt Void Consumption. What? After the Nexus Prince dies, Azurgos will land and open the portal to the Nexus Vault. So much for the all-powerful Void! <laughs> you know you're not a bad ally. Pity you're not a dragon. I can open a portal to the Vault, but I'll have to remain on this side to keep it open. The way is clear. Hurry, little one. I can't keep this open for long. Click the portal to the Nexus Vault. You made it! But to leave this place with the weapon, you must first gain control of it. Good luck. Enter Egwin's Crystals of Binding and click on the Extra Action button for placing Ancient Scroll of Meter. Complete this task at all three locations. Doing so will deactivate the shield around Alunath. You are not as powerful as she who came before. You cannot succeed! My essence will not be controlled again! I am infinite. I will not be contained. No mere mortal can grasp the wisdom of Alanath. Proceed to the center of the platform and click on Alunath to claim your artifact. You to wield me as the previous guardian. 
You are but a child to me. You foolishly think you can control this power. So be it. Come, child. Let us wreak havoc upon your foes, and I shall see what you are made of. Work complete. Well done. The energies from the vault seem to be stabilizing. Now hurry back before the portal closes and you're locked inside. Click on the portal to the Nexus. I am impressed. Never have I seen a mage capable of controlling a Lunath. The Ethereals have been routed, and you have the weapon you came for. Your business here is finished. Mine, on the other hand, has just begun. I thank you for freeing me. You have given me the greatest gift of all. That of time. I will use that time to secure the Nexus. It must never again fall into the wrong hands. This portal will take you back to Kalagos. Please... Azurgos will open a portal back to Dalaran. Click on it to be transported there. Travel west to the Violet Citadel, located at coordinates 3249. Go inside and turn the quest to Archmage Kalik.